All right, I'm going to read a short story from Treasures in the Sand by Perry Guy. The first story is the stuffed pelican. The pelican rested peacefully on the rolling waves, content from a successful day of diving for fish. His plump tummy, so round and full, however, he still could not help but conspire a glutinous wish. Spanish mackerel and sea bass are tasty indeed. Perhaps I've ingested more than one bird should partake. But some crunchy shrimp or tasty octopus would certainly be the icing on the cake. However, they do live on the very bottom, and Jester the shark is known to harbor there. I'm agile and swift above the surface. But no ability to escape should dare. If I should dare, perhaps he would not notice just one dive. Often it is on the bottom he sleeps. So I will scoop my catch quickly. Then my dining will be complete. So the pelican flew up high and dove into the water straight down, so quickly to the bottom. What a bountiful catch, he found. Startling shrimp in school of squid tried in vain to escape. But the pelican was far too clever, and away he swam with all he could take. When suddenly, out of the deep blue, arose a horrific surprise. Jester the shark appeared abruptly, and with a glow in his eyes, there was little chase. The pelican was greatly outmatched, until the surface arose bubbles and feathers, but not even the slightest splash. And although the story may seem sad, it is the natural way of life in the sea, and Jester the shark did relay that this stuffed pelican was the tastiest that ever could be.